everybody, Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am making black raspberry vanilla soap. And, you know, everybody has, seems, a black raspberry vanilla. Except me. I used to do my rainbow soap in black raspberry vanilla. And lately I've changed that up. And I'm now doing that in rainbow sherbet. And black raspberry vanilla seems to be so popular. And I, I did have some solid purple bars that were this fragrance. And I don't anymore. I just sold out. And people love it. And you know, it's not, it's not my favorite scent. But if I make it in scrubs or anything, I can't keep it in stock. So... Here we go, black raspberry vanilla. I figured this would be a good time to do it. I'm getting ready for my holiday shows. I'm going to do a very simple design. Just going to do a drop swirl. I may or may not run a hanger through it. I hadn't thought of that until just this moment. We'll see. Am I in the camera? Yes. Whole thing? Yep. All the way back here? Yep. Groovy. So start with a base of white. I might just keep this as a drop swirl. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. What do you think, hanger or no hanger? Mm. I know, it's so hard. Isn't it? Yeah. So let's just leave it as is. Yeah. I'm kind of full anyway. Yeah. The mold's kind of full. Let me smack this down. Carefully. Ah, that's good enough. Yeah. Thing with this um, fragrance is it stays fluid for so long, and I just got done soaping another one. That same thing. It, it uh, was so fluid; it took me forever to be able to move it. I wonder if I have enough to do a zigzag swirl on the top. I should have planned that out a little better. Maybe I can make it happen. And if I can't, that's okay. I don't think I can. Let's see what happens. Sort of maybe. It's cool.
little worried about my ends there because those are just hello sample pieces anyway. soaps have I made so far? Oh, I don't even know. I know. Four, five, six, seven? Seven. Can I tell them? Yeah, that's right. Seven. So my hand's starting to get tired. Stick. If I were a stick, where would I be? Right where I belong. I saw it somewhere and started playing with it. And oh my goodness, what is that doing? I have a fan over here that just decided to um, go a little crazy. Actually, I think that worked out nicely, huh? Yeah. How are we doing on time? Uh, two minutes left. Oh, really? I'm not going to take two minutes to put glitter on, but <laughs> the last video we were like right at the end and the timer went off. It almost seems silly to start it up again. But okay, black raspberry vanilla. Don't go anywhere. I will attach the cutting video right behind this. Are we focused? Yes. Okay, here's black raspberry vanilla out of the mold. And this one, whoops, is going to be named Aurora. For Aurora Borealis from the Northern Lights. Come in? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. So there are the ends. I just did a drop swirl on this one. Might come a little closer. Like that. I love the top. Whoa, that one is pretty. I like the colors, Mommy. Thank you. Pretty traditional colors for black raspberry vanilla. I've seen people use black, but to me, I just, this is just what I thought of and I've actually been thinking of, well, for a long time. I've been talking about doing just a simple black raspberry vanilla soap for a couple of years, and I just never have. Like I said, I used to do my rainbow in the black raspberry vanilla, just to be different. And now that one is rainbow sherbet, so I needed to do the traditional soap. That kind of looks like the leaves and like a flower in the middle, in the inside. Yeah. I love, love, love the top on this one. And the last piece. So this soap, Aurora, will be available on my website after October 15th, 2015 at StargazerSoaps.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.